Folks, you can get into a trailer, or a smoker mounted on a trailer, for a $1,900 figure. Of course, we have all kinds of options. We have a lot of different sizes. Let's take a look at this one behind us. It's kind of unique. Uh, I know there's a lot of football and sports fans out there, and whatever sports fan you are, I know your team has a color, and uh, we can fix you up with a cooker to match that color. I'm sure you recognize what we have here, you know, the old gator we got here for the boys. And um, this is a 250 model. The 250 model has some accessories on it. We'll just start on this side and kind of walk around and give you an idea of uh, how this one's built. This one's built for a customer to his spec, and we've kind of added the gator colors as close as we could get them based on a heavy fire. This is a fire temp paint, and this is as close to the gator blue as we could come with the fire temp until we get some special paints made, which we're looking into. But we uh, went ahead and did the, the base trailer in orange, and the, and the blue color is the gator color. And this trailer has an extended nose. The nose of this trailer is set up to carry a 120 quart cooler and a wood box and has an additional holder for a, a, gas, a gas tank in the front which we'll show you what that's for as we walk around the trailer. Uh, this smoker is, a, like I said, a, a 250 model. It's a large smoker. It basically has four shelves. The shelf slides and locks but it won't fall down. You don't have to worry about meat falling on your shoes. If you want to remove the shelf, you just pick it up this way, the shelf comes right out. And it's back. The bottom shelf, we just put a couple tabs on here to grab, make it easier to pull out. And we'll give, we'll give you a chance to understand how this one's made. All of our smokers are made like confectionery ovens. They're indirect cooking. The principle is to force heat out of the firebox under a quarter inch plate, which radiates the heat up through the cooker. The smoke from the fire is forced under the plate to the very end, and there's an opening, which we will show you here. There's your plate, and here's where your plate ends. Your smoke comes down your channel. Meanwhile, your fire is heating up your steel plates, which you can see are full quarter inch. And we make the, we have these uh, what we call clean outs so that after you can get in here and they got drains, you can clean the bottom all out with an ease. Meanwhile, they go right back on it. And they heat up, and as they radiate the heat, the air comes out the end and is forced around the tank and pulled back to the tri triple stacks or the, tri the double stacks on the end of this cooker, which you can see right there, and it draws it out, which causes the draft to come through the whole unit which moves the air in a, in a circular fashion and throughout the whole unit. And we're finding it that as we're cooking here, your temperature stays pretty well even throughout the whole cooker. Naturally, you're going to get a little bit more heat on this end, but it's only within three, two or three, four degrees. Uh, because of the air movement, it holds it pretty true. But getting back to the other end, let's find out where you make a fire here. This is your fire box down below. These are your your air supplies for your fire, to let your fire burn, bring air in. When we start the cooker, we open them all up. Showing you the box, this is your grate. Your grate is all one half inch steel. There's nothing in this cooker that's not quarter inch plate, three quarter rod, or half inch steel. This will not, this, this will outlive you, but probably outlive your children. All right, they're finally filled us in here. You shut it, you set your vent, you set your pipe, you get your watch your temperature. After you're done cooking, you want to bring your food out, start keeping your food warm. This is a warmer box on top. It basically has shelves throughout for, keep, for keeping your food warm. This steel plate above your fire box is, a, is, a, is like, a, it's like a grill on its own. You can cook your beans. You can even fry steaks up right on the top. But meanwhile, if you don't you want to, you're cooking for a large amount of people, you need more cooking area, you can reach down here, we've got a door in the back. Slide that door open, now we're bringing the heat from the heat box into the warmer box. We're, we're coming in and we're bringing it out, and we'll open our stack up here. Now we're, we've created another oven. You can actually cook and, and smoke everything on these trays, as well as the tank in the front, if you have that need for that amount of cooking.
it just makes a very little, it's a small option that uh, just gives you another whole cooking area. A lot of people like to have, uh, like to steam oysters or cook turkeys or whatever kind of goes along with smoking and barbecuing. So this, uh, this machine is equipped with a, two set, or a double set of high temp gas burners. These are high pressure burners and we cooked up about a, uh, a large commercial pan of uh, peanut oil in about 20 minutes. We had it at uh, 375 degrees. So they, they were regulated by the regulators. You can turn them up and down, regulate your heat. Your gas lines are through the frame all the way up to your gas can. This is a, uh, a very nice cooker. It's just about completed. We're waiting uh, until this is a Saturday today and Tuesday we're having an airbrush fellow put a gator on the side of the uh, box. So the customer should be pretty happy with this. We're kind of happy with it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's quite a machine. But we can build whatever you need to fit what your, whatever team you love or if you just want one in black that you want to cook in the backyard and you're not worried about the football team, we, we understand that too. We make, a, we, make a, we make a seat for everybody. So come on down and see us. If you want a real smoker that will last you the rest of your life, you get tired of buying them $700 ones that burn up in two years, come down and buy the last one you'll ever have to buy. I'm looking forward to meeting you.